Hello everyone, welcome to a World of Warship Bits video. Today's video is the Italian cruiser line up to the point where I run out of ships, uh, which may be tier 7 or maybe tier 8. I have a tier 7 already. Uh, I have a lot of free XP saved up. It's whether I want to blow it to get it to tier 8 or just grind a little bit and then sort of take cut a bit of the grind off. Anyway, this is the tier 5 uh, Tech Tree Italian cruiser, the Raimondo Montecuccelli. Montecuccelli. Um, anyway, it is a tier 5 Italian cruiser. Um, and much like the tier 4, it is actually quite a nice little ship. So it's not quite the same the monster that the tier 4 is. And I think the tier 4 has um, been pretty spectacular. But still, it's pretty good. But at tier 5, um, yeah, a little less forgiving because you're up against um, yeah, some of those larger ships that maybe have better better gunners in them so just be careful so here I am popping my nose into the cap it is fast now that's one thing about this ship that I must admit I was surprised by um, I built this one for speed because well it's only a tier 5 ship and if I want to change it I can just buy it and sell it and buy it back change the elite bonus um, so I built it for speed so this thing can do 39 point something quite high knots which is pretty phenomenal really in the grand scheme of things um, and as you can see, we're getting some uh, some shade thrown our way in the, term of firm, in the form of torpedoes. It's got a reasonable armor for a cruiser, which means not a lot, but still, um, it's shaken off some of those worst of those hits. Uh, here comes this um, the Shen Yang. So what I'm trying to do here is keep my schnoz onto him. Oops, there goes the torpedoes. Reverse. Dodging them in reverse is actually a little bit trickier than dodging them in uh, going front on in. And as you can see, the SAP shells just strip health off this guy like nothing on earth. Assuming, of course, that I hit him. Um, so the shells, they are fairly accurate. The dispersion is actually very good, which in some respects can be a bit of a downer if you're, if you're taking a difficult shot because they'll all hit or they'll all miss. Um, so we're going to teach that Xin Yang for for launching his torpedoes at us. All we want to do is, we do want to get rid of him, um, but if we can't get rid of him, getting his health so low that he's uh, he's kept at a distance is actually uh, is, is a good second best. So with destroyers, you don't have to destroy them, you just have to effectively make them ineffective. So here's the Romando, the uh, opposing enemy uh, team. Um, they are going up against each other, the Sferataka and the Romando. Are having a torpedo jewel which should go in the foot attacker's direction because the foot attacker has way better torpedoes although the Raimondo has a better reload but if they're still torpedoing each other after the period of the reload well that's a bit of a shame really um they are doing a fairly good job of hammering themselves out oh there we go as predicted the foot attacker just has slightly faster more torpedo tubes better angles no, it doesn't have better angles, just more torpedo tubes, basically. And when they hit, they do they do good damage. So, in the last video, I talked about Italian ships. It's all about positioning, which means not getting out in front. So, I mean, if you're beginning and you're just learning how to play the game, um, don't overextend, go at half speed, stay with battleships, and that's a good way, right? That's If, if you can't do anything else, if you do that, that will help your game. Um... The other thing is, it, is these are about is um, gun selection, so armament. So these have SAP and they have um, uh, AP shells. So there's a right time to use each one of those. Oh, look at that, you see. So against these lightly armoured targets, like this poor unfortunate um, Shen Yang here, um, it's definitely... Um, this is definitely SAP territory, light cruisers, SAP, against battleships I've been using AP, against the um, the bow or the stern, against cruisers, well when you get to tier 6 I start using AP a little bit more because they are big guns, they do have a slow reload but they do whack a wallop so um, I have started using AP selectively. But definitely against these small guys, it's SAP, and definitely against the big guys, it's AP, and you pick your, pick your point of aim. The and then, um, as for the torpedoes, how to use the torpedoes, 
every now and again I fire them so that someone, so the enemy gets distracted by the alert torpedoes in the water. Very rare for me to hit with torpedoes. I think I've got a hit in this game, which is a bit unusual. Um, so yeah, so I would probably say that, um, yeah, your torpedoes, if you're close enough to use them, uh, you know, you don't want to be brawling in these ships. The turret rotation is poor. The ship's turning is poor. They're long, large ships with sort of average armor. Okay, it seems to be able to be fairly resistant to, to shells end on, but um, it's not great armor. So you're not brawling, which means that you're taking long range shots. And because um, you can't be torpedoing from beyond your detection range, they always know you're there. So what I find is that torpedoes put in the water are just a reminder for the enemy ship to um, perform a turn. So as you can see, there's our friendly Romundo. SAP shells are phenomenal against aircraft carriers as well. Um, although I don't suspect I'm going to be able to demonstrate that because he's firing SAP shells against that sole remaining carrier. So there we go, the Raimondo um, Monte Cuccioli, um, the Tier 5 Italian, I don't know if it's a light or heavy cruiser, to be fair. Um, it's the heavy cruiser line, so it's the Tier 5 cruiser, and I definitely know the Trento, which is the Tier 6, is the heavy cruiser. So as you can see, um, well, the Mont Raimondo Monte Cuccioli's came at the top, on our team. Um, I suspect this is a tough time to be a new player in the game because um, there'll be a whole lot of veteran players out there grinding their way up the lines. Now it only might take them a day or two to get through these um, these low tier ships but that day or two could be a pretty harsh time if you're just learning so bear with it guys. Anyway I hope you enjoyed watching the video thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.